Shaka Dimba Season 3 is here. We have crisscrossed the country to look for some of the best football talent in Kenya. Thousands of hopefuls from across the country are not only hoping to be crowned champions of the 254, but to make the cut for the final All-Star team, a team that will be rewarded with a dream visit to one of the greatest leagues in the world, Spain's La Liga. Our journey began in Garissa, where Berlin FC took the Northeastern title once again. From Garissa, we traveled to the coast, where Kwale Queens electrified the Bomu Stadium to take home the girls' title, and Melindy Zyaga took home the boys' crown, beating Kaya Stars 4-0. The story from Nanyuki in the Central Finals was that of total domination from Falling Waters in the girls' group, with Lindsay emerging victorious in the boys' group, here on the foot of Mount Kenya. From the mountain to Machakos for the Lower Eastern Regional Finals. It was here in Kenya's first capital city that Isiolo Starlets and Tumaini School emerged victorious and will now represent Macha in the Chapadimba National Finals. It brought us here to Kenya's bustling capital city, Nairobi, the gateway to Africa is a hotbed of footballing talent, and one of the areas where football is a lifestyle is here in Jamhuri. Jamhuri High School has a rich pedigree of churning out top footballers. The school, popularly known as Jamu, was the venue of the Chapa Dimbana Safaricom Nairobi Region Finals. Uh, Jamuri has been always a powerhouse over the years. Uh, if you look at the history in terms of uh, football, especially in the uh, Nairobi region, it's actually one of the best beaches that Chapadima and Safaricom has been to this season. That's, I think, something that high schools should emulate so that they give these young students a chance to showcase their skills. Just a five-minute drive from Jamhuri to the western side of Nairobi is Kangemi. Kangemi is home to the sprawling Kapagare slum, where football is offering a community an opportunity to dream again. The biggest obstacle I've faced personally in life is dropping out of college due to lack of school fees. My environment affects me as a player. Sazenye tukona game na ground chafu ama sometimes kumenyesha. Yo matope grau yezi chezeka na tena watu anamwaga kutoka kwa hiyo market kwa hapo nearby. Sawa tu hivyo tu. Players wangu wanatoka hapa Bagare kuna slamu iko hapo inaitwa Kibagare. So ni watu maisha yako tu bila average hapo. Ndio kwa maana moto yetu ni overcome through sports. I'm doing this for my dreams and to encourage other people. Ebol in idea. Outside there, there is someone looking up to me saying, One day I want to be like a C. Bagare girls. Champion Sayuta. In your team, Kubua. This is your Queens of Nairobi. Hashtag Slam Queens. Beijing's Martha Mudeo opened the score sheet when she scored at the 27th minute, with her counterpart Maximilla Roby netting on the 68th minute with this goal, and again in the 80th minute to seal the win. The last three seasons of Chapadimba has seen new talent discovered and childhood dreams realized. Last year, a young man playing for Hakati Sportif was given a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to visit Barcelona, the home of one of world football's most iconic stadia, the New Camp. Nikiwa mdogo kuna watu wame ni inspani, chiza hii ball, ndo wame ni inspani, fike pali niko na niicheze. Kuma baada na jafikija miaka miwili, alikuwa na niangaisha sana. Chukua vitu za angu nitako enda mazoezi kwa kiwanja, alikuwa anakatalia tunayenda pamoja na yei. So kufika pale, nikigonga mpila, nikipatia kidogo pia kadajaribu, basi kakanzia pale. Kwa class 4, class 3 ya hapo, ndo ni wakati tukoche za tona fulani ya hapa, yetu ya kati, nikapatiwa best player na hapo ndo nikawa na potential yangu. Nisikiagizuri Nutrition plays a key role in the well-being of a player. So, what is mum's recipe for Lewis Mbandi's success? Mother, 
Mingo wangu tu naweza sema ni wote juu. Auto play a big role kwa maisha yangu ya football. In the boys' semi, Sakati were no match for Brookshine Academy, thrashing them 3-0 to zoom into the final. Lewis Bandy from Makadara broke the deadlock for the boys in the 16th minute to hand them a 1-0 lead at the break. Upon resumption, they popped the gears up and it paid off. Otiero Juma netted in the 59th minute, with Lewis Mutava scoring this beauty in the 76th minute to cement the lead and the victory. They say mentoring is a brain to pick, an ear to listen, and a push in the right direction. However, it is not always easy to get the best out of more than 200 eager and energetic young footballers. Pass the joy seeing all these people from the Mashinani, uh, you know, given such a grand opportunity to be part of such a grand tournament. And uh, that's what, that's a pass joy, just to see all these people back, uh, together in a room. And then number two is just uh, the joy of being able to impact them and being part of their lives and uh, impacting some life skills training uh, and the mentorship that happens with the soccer uh, mentors and so it's what it's exciting is this this one opportunity we have with them that has an impact for a lifetime uh, you know just transforming them for a lifetime and so that's the exciting part of being part of the mentorship program and we had those opportunities then soccer truly would have transformed families communities uh, you know they would have created more opportunities but hey Thank God there's this now and we can't wait to see the ripple effect in the communities, in the Mashinani uh, with what they've learnt and taken from this, uh, you know, grand opportunity to be part of Chapadimba Season 3. A coach can also be a terrible role model. Um, we've, we've seen that as well. Uh, so we really want to see football as a place where, where kids are developed, they're growing, they're healthy, they're good citizens, they're good leaders. This, this is our hope. These coaches have been given a boost by the La Liga coaching clinics, which have taken place in each of the three seasons of Chapadimbana Safaricom. The most recent being during the Coast Regional Finals in January this year. When the season is over, Chapadimba, we are going to focus on the opportunity to get the players. Like I said, we still have to depend on the coaches. We're here to uh, take what we did last year, which was mentoring players, and kind of taking it to the next level. Um, from our experience, we've seen that working with players just in a one-off space is, is great. There's, there's impact there, uh, but the coaches are with players every day of the week. Uh, so if we're able to speak life and, and envision them of the role or opportunity that they have to be father figures, to be good mentors, good positive role models, uh, we want to take advantage of that opportunity. The principles that I take from La Liga into my team, discipline, dedication, and keeping time. At least closer to him or her than kabla to attend this coaching. 1800 teams. So if you're able to activate 1800 community coaches working with between 30 and 50 players each, that's just thousands of kids that are actually hearing good messages. And uh, every game is an opportunity. Every coach is an opportunity. Hope Faith, Chapadimba Season 3, Take 2. Football imen saidia kimasomo, imen ipea moral ya kusoma ju inalipia fi, silipi ya tabo. Kwa majina ni Hope Faith, si tunaishi jeriko, nimeishi na show, for like 15 years, na men support key football. We buy a game kits, the jersey, boots, socks, everything. We were class five. We were born with a high. We were a soldier KDF. We were radio na shabab. So we came here to move to Kenya. My mom was a pass. Kini to overcome all through ball the men shikishafa. It is really making her to have visions of the coming days. Football is many people who are concerned in life. We can't have visions. It was all out action on the pitch on day one of the Nairobi Region Finals. In the girls' semis, it was Asakoro ladies who shone the brightest with a demolition job of St. Anne's Eaglets. The final score, 5-1. Catherine Amondi scored a goal in each half. Her first came in the second minute. Florence Achien grabbed a goal in the 14th minute before Sylvia Makungu added a goal in the 17th. Asakoro kept on the pressure and scored a fourth goal through Herine Atieno in the 30th minute before Chantel Mavoni pulled one back for the Eaglets at the stroke of halftime. Catherine Amondi grabbed her brace in the 67th minute as the Paulino War coach side ran riot 5-1 the final. 
In the second boys semi, Dagoretti posted a 3-0 result against the Kenya School of Government. Dagbo sealed the tie in the opening half with goals from Jamin Mongoy in the ninth minute. It was followed by this Felix Okoth goal of the 29th minute, with Victor Hagai putting the icing on the cake in the 31st minute, setting up a mouth-watering boys final. The opportunities keep on coming during Season 3 of Chapa Dimbana Safari Corp. And it was made even more evident when Harambe Starlet's head coach David Oma released the provisional ladies squad headed for the Turkish Women's Cup. Oma has widened his scouting net to the Chapa Dimbana Safari Corp tournament, calling up Falling Water's standout Jane Jerry, who showed immense skill in leading her team to retain the central regional title in the tournament. He also called up other Chapa Dimba standouts, Sylvia Livondo, Diana Ashina, Judith Asimbo, and Nairobi MVP Salome Drailers from Beijing Raiders. It makes Safaricom feel great. It means that uh, the insight that we had around uh, investing in young people was the right uh, insight. Scouting is a very expansive program. And for this measure, that's why the Football Kenya Federation has taken out a step to develop the master plan of scouting within Chapadimba structures. Irrespective of where the player is, she has the opportunity to play at Chapadimba. It means that anyone that has the talent to develop has the opportunity to be seen with different coaches. There are clubs across the country that would like to scout for younger players. We're given a chance to give them this platform for them to be shortlisted and go to the national team for us is very, very, I think, edifying and satisfying. So we're grateful. I was the champion in the first edition. The second edition, I was knocked out. I've done a research and I'm reinforced the team. So the third edition has given me opportunity for my girl to explore their talent. Which under 20 in Kenya tournaments is not there. Vaughn was not coming to school and other players told me that there's a good girl playing football with the Chokoras. Venye nilizaliwa, nikagurua kwa familia yenye ukwina uzachanga. Ilikuwa hadi sana kuhishi kwa yu familia. Sometimes unatumu hapa peleka hii. Pia hapa penye unapeleku na arasiwa. Ilikuwa unapenda bol. Venye nilijo imsedo, nikapita wasiwa na tree. The parents doesn't have enough income. I talked to the parents, they accepted the girl to come to school. And when the girl came to school, the first thing they told me that they can't pay school fees, but I told them, no, I'm going to recruit the girls into my program, and the girl will not uh, pay school fees. And they said, yeah. In your life, yangu, nitofauti sana. Baru ninge nilea kuza changa, ninge get early pregnancy, na pia ninge kwa alcoholic, niko na hope na dream ya kwa the best player, opportunities in football men patiani kunilipia school fees na pia kucheza chapadimba. On a sunny Nairobi day, the stage was set for the Chapadimba Nairobi Region Finals. It was Beijing Raiders who would reclaim the Nairobi Region Chapadimba na Safaricom Girls title after a 6-0 thrashing of defending champions Asakoro Ladies at Jamhuri High School. The Storehe Bay side had to wait until the 40th minute though to take the lead through Drailer. Adiambo extended their lead at the stroke of halftime with a powerful low shot from close range. Beijing Raiders dominated the second period and Drailer netted two more goals, this one in the 59th minute and this one in the 72nd. Adiambo grabbed her brace in the 76th minute before Drela sealed her side's big win in the 84th minute. In the boys' final, it was a nail-biter as Dagoretti High School edged Hikati Sportif 4-3 on post-match penalties. Both sides failed to score in regular time in the evenly contested final. The students' penalties were netted by Victor Hagai, Alex Munga, Mongela Gai, and Joseph Fabian. John Barraza was not lucky as Hikati goalkeeper Joseph Kagari saved his penalty. Hakati's penalties were scored by Jumba Jackson, Julius Juma and Louis Bandi, while Peter Wabu and Glenn Magolo missed. The Rift Valley Province semi-finals are upon us, and Kericho Stadium is the venue. Join us for more goals, saves and thrills. Zilitengenezwa Nairobi.
Rift ni wakati wenu wa kungara. Shangilia timu yenu at the Kericho Green Stadium on 7th and 8th March.